Hello everybody, Rich of Review Tech USA, and I'm a man of tech sometimes, occasionally. Not really. But what if I told you that you could have a high-end gaming monitor that's up to 135 inches on your face? You can. This is this is the Vature Pro XR glasses. That's who's sponsoring this video today. You put these on and they become a giant high-end monitor that's portable that you could take anywhere. With ultra clarity, you get a 135 inch, 120 hertz, full HD gaming experience in these glasses. They also have a peak brightness of 4,000 nits, and they're also SGS A plus low eye fatigue certified, which is the highest rating possible. They'll cause even less eye strain than your smartphone. And the Pro XR glasses are anti-glare, anti-motion sickness, and anti anti-ghosting so you get a crystal clear image and are you nearsighted like i am this is a huge deal well you're not going to need your glasses in most cases because the sony micro oled panels in here have a myopia adjustment so if you're nearsighted you don't need your glasses and you could still in most cases get a clear image out of the pro xr all you have to do is hook up the pro xr glasses to your steam deck via the included usb c cable and you're good to go and you could also get the google powered mature neckband accessory to have a completely standalone streaming and gaming experience with your pro xr glasses they also have awesome accessories such as a virtue pro mobile dock and the 8-bit to limited edition smoky translucent controller so if you want to get 10 percent off your entire Viture order, excluding the Pro XR glasses, use my code ReviewTechUSA and click the link in the description or the top pin comment to visit the Viture store. Hello everyone, on this exciting contractually obligated video, I'm going to talk about Keffels, which I wanted to talk about anyway, so having to make this video is a good thing, because when I do make a video occasionally, I'm going to piss a lot of people off and I'm fine with that. That that's, that's my forte. I seem pretty good at pissing people off. Well, I'm finally going to open my mouth about Keffels. Uh, Keffels was actually on live streams of mine many moons ago. If you remember, there was the whole meta PCs debacle, which I stupidly got involved in. Now, that was during a time when Jeremy, aka The Quartering, was deadnaming her. This is before all of her controversies, by the way. This is before any of this crap went down. And I had her on the show a couple times. She actually came on uh, and blindsided The Quartering. But those were different times, and this is before I knew that Keffels was a complete grifting piece of crap. See, people on the left grift as well, and I'm here to call them out. I don't care what your political ideologies are. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care what your sexual preference is. I don't care about any of that. I think all human beings should be treated equally, but also be held accountable equally. But I don't see anyone really doing that in this community or on YouTube in general because they're more concerned about the goddamn cash money and don't want their audiences to leave who mostly want copium and affirmation. They don't care about what terrible things people do that are on their team so long as they remain on their team. But I love calling all these son of a bitches out. I don't care where they lie with their ideologies. So what? I'll give you my short stack of things that Keffels has done. Now, if you remember, she got swatted first and foremost. And the story went from her waking up with guns drawn on her. Then it went to her, you know, having to put clothes on and go out, out of her door. It there was no cadency to anything she was talking about. It, it just like it would be one, one day this happened and the next next day this happened. Then the next day, you know, the, the cops were hanging her out the window. Then the next day, the cops were apologizing to her and, and feeding her a sandwich. Like, go watch Budahar's video and go watch videos of Keffels. Like, her story bounces all over the place. Well, needless to say, she lives in Canada, that the London Police Department, she said this, that they were transphobic and, and, and all these different things. And she actually opened up a GoFundMe 
uh, to not only recoup losses because she made it that all of her electronics were confiscated, even though that was a lie, too, because she got her, her electronics back three days later so she could have live streamed her heart out. She opened up a GoFundMe to get legal funds because she was going to go after the London Police Department for how horrible she was treated. She also said she needed money to go hide, even though she said she was going to hide in the UK. Why would you tell people where you were going and then live stream for in the place that you were hiding away from people who were trying to find you on kiwi farms which may i add she said she took down kiwi farms which is a lie it was only down for a few days and she never acknowledged that it went up back up online that's that's who keffels is on top of it too she didn't run away from canada because of she needed to hide from the evil trolls she ran away because she had a fallout with her fiance, which again, she tried to make herself out to be the victim. The fiance was abusive. I don't know if her ex fiance was abusive, but since she's lied about literally everything else, who knows? She's probably lying about that too. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. There's like a dozen talking points here and I mentioned all of them without having to look at the notes. Go me. So Keffel's got this money in her Indiegogo campaign, which was wildly successful. She got about six figures. What, what did she do with this money? She was going to use it for legal funds to go after the London, Ontario police, right? Right? No. You want to know where the money went to? Here's a list of things. When she went to the UK, she paid a year's rent right up front for her luxury apartment. That was about $28,000 right there. She hired a security company to protect her identity and, and to tell her now how to not get doxxed, allegedly. There are DMs to back this up, but we'll have to say allegedly as well that she remembers she wanted a Coke bender, okay? And I'm not talking about the soda. Um, where they say she dipped into the Indiegogo funds, which again were supposed to be used for her legal case against the London Police Department. Uh, there's DM saying that she dipped into those funds to get some nose candy for herself. But again, that's alleged. We can't just say that's what happened due to a DM. But she absolutely used the money for her rehab, which she went to for about 30 days and that would be approximately $20,000. I wonder if the people that supported her who wanted her to use that money for a legal fund would want her to use the money for nose candy and rehab instead. Not saying you don't need rehab, but the rehab was an issue that you chose because of a lifestyle choice. It's not your audience's problem. And let's Vosh. Let's not get into Catboy Ranch, which this video is probably going to be demonetized anyway. But uh, Catboy Ranch is another arc that if you want to go watch Mudahar's video in regards to Keffels, that boy, oh boy, things get really creepy. Had to make sure I mentioned it here. I wanted to make sure no one thought I swept it under the rug. But Catboy Ranch is a thing, and Keffels was involved in it. So, of course, right, all the social justice warriors out there that are actually looking for justice, like Vosh, they're uh, making videos on Keffels right now. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Vosh, if I could say his name without slurring it, is streaming as I'm recording this video. And he's talking about Keffels, right? He made a video exposing Keffels for the fraud that she committed, opening up an Indiegogo, telling people she was using it for a legal fund and she used it for anything but. He made a video, right? Oh, wait, he didn't. Nothing. Crickets chirp. The only left leaning channel I've seen that talked about this is Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks. Well, the Young Turks is the channel. Personality is Anna Kasparian. Not a soul else on the left is talking about it. You're no better than the people on the right that do this. You're no better, Bosch, than the quartering. You're not. Let's not get into the weird crap we found out about you. Actually, that makes you worse than the quartering. But you're doing the same thing. You're just, oh, I'm the, Keffels is in my camp. And so I'm not going to make a video about her. And you know what? Your audience does love it. 
because you're just telling them what they want to hear. I'm not saying, Vosh, you don't believe what you believe, but you'll cover for someone in your camp even if they do something crappy because they're on your team, just like the right-wingers do. So you're like the left-leaning cornering, Vosh. Not to put this all on you, but it's just weird. When someone does something awful, like fraud, and is proven to be a fraud like Keffels, just because they're on your team, you don't say a word. You're no better than anybody else with any other political ideology. And it's gross. And this is part of the reason why I just... Is it worth having a big audience? And look, I'm not saying I didn't make mistakes with my YouTube channel. I've made plenty. But is it worth having a big audience and just telling them what they want to hear and sweeping stuff under the rug and and telling them sweet little lies just so you j have everyone be happy and just feed them their copium? I'm not saying I'm an angel, man. I'm a prick and a loudmouth and I could be an asshole. But I'd rather be that and actually call everybody out equally than just hide the faults of somebody because they agree with me politically. That's just crappy, creepy, terrible character. You don't have any character. You're just doing whatever you need to do to make your audience as big as possible and to make your channel as profitable as possible. And it's just gross. And I'll call it out. I don't care what side of the aisle it's on. I'm sick of it. This is rich of whatever the hell I am. Signing out. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy the new set. I think I look sexy on it. Oh, yeah. It turns me on.